by Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave has received a version upgrade, which started rolling out on the 11th, which once again was late yesterday in my region. And we've been bumped up to version 1.59, which is the latest stable release. Now, like always with uh, the Brave version upgrades, this release has a lot going on once again. And I do find that Brave does push out a lot of user interface tweaks and adjustments basically with every um, browser update. And there's also a lot going on under the hood, so to speak. And I've also noticed that we have a little bit of the uh, Google Chrome UI refresh making its way into Brave with this version upgrade, which was expected because obviously um, Brave is based on that open source Chromium platform. Now, if you are using um, the wallet, just to dive straight in, if you are using Brave Wallet, that's the uh, crypto side of things, Web3. Um, there's a couple of add-ons, updates and fixes. And as you can see, they've also enabled the Brave Wallet panel version 2 now by default. So the actual wallet a menu and panel has received a bit of a UI refresh. And I actually quite like the look of this version 2. And I think that's a nice move. And um, if you are using Brave Rewards, there's a bit of a UI tweak here as well. They've updated estimated earnings which was here at the top to display earnings so far. I don't know if you can actually see that in the video, but that says now earnings so far. And then if we move into the general side of things with the actual browser, if we head to the main menu, you can see how they have added icons and streamlined the hamburger menu. So very similar to what we've seen uh, in uh, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. And if we head to the more tools menu, um, yeah, they've streamlined things where they've um, popped like show sidebar and a couple of other entries that were found in the main menu. They've put those and placed those not so popular tools into the more tools overflow menu, which declutters the main menu. So I quite like the look of that. A lot less clutter and things looking a little bit more material you with some of those changes. So they've added icons and streamlined the hamburger menu. They've also added rounded corners to all panels from the navigation bar. So a lot of material you changes happening with this upgrade. And if we head over to the settings and we head to our system page, you'll see uh, that they've added uh, use WireGuard protocol in Brave VPN. This is a setting you can toggle on and off. And something else I have noticed though with this uh, WireGuard being added now and this WireGuard protocol uh, being added to the Brave VPN. If you are using Windows and we head over to our apps, and this applies to Windows 10 and Windows 11. And we head to our startup apps. You'll see it's placed a Brave VPN WireGuard service, which is set to start by default with your operating system. So if you are not using the VPN um, like I don't, then I would suggest turning this off because obviously that will just um, be an extra process running in the background on your system. But nonetheless, that use WireGuard protocol now has been placed in the settings. And uh, um, if we head to... The autofill, if we head to autofill and passwords, you'll see now that um, they've added make autofill available in private windows, which has now been added to this uh, page. So that's available now. You can toggle that on and off, which I think is a nice move. And then just to make a couple of uh, quick mentions, um, they've also added Widevine support for ARM64 on Windows. And then we get a couple of security improvements and security updates and fixes that have rolled out, three in total for the actual browser. And they've also removed uh, disabled features from DevTools. So if you um, are a developer or into that side of things, they've removed some of those disabled features. And then we've got about six crash crash fixes and bug fixes that have rolled out for the actual browser. So if any crash gets fixed, I always say that's a nice move. So that, that's, that, those are important fixes that have rolled out. And then of course we get all the important security fixes that have rolled out with this update in regards to the Chromium platform. So to double check that we have the update as always, we head to our new hamburger menu. And you'll also notice that very similar now to um, Chrome and Edge, the About Brave used to be in the main menu and now that's Help About Brave. So that's another small UI adjustment. And as you can see, latest version and build 1.59.117. And the Chromium platform also been bumped up to the latest version, 118.0.5993.70. And this is an important Chromium um, update because it includes 20 security fixes. 
And although there are no mention of zero days with the security fixes that have rolled out to the Chromium platform, we get one critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. And that addresses a use after free insight isolation. So that's an important fix. And then we've got a couple of mediums and lows, which make up the rest of those 20 security fixes. So as mentioned, um, double check your browsers up to date um, just to patch it with um, those security fixes. And as always, a lot going on with new user interface tweaks and adjustments with Brave in this latest update uh, to version 1.59, which rolled out on the 11th of October. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.